everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can make an alternating chain knot. Before we get started, I want to let you all know that I recently released my brand new macrame guides. There's a lot of great information inside these guides, so please check out the link in the description to learn more. Let's get started. Start by folding one cord evenly in half and attaching it to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Before you pull your lark's head knot tight, we're going to insert a second cord right here underneath the dowel rod. So take that second cord and just slide one end right through the little gap and pull it until it's even on both sides. Then just pull your lark's head knot tight to secure everything in the place. Now to tie our little chain knot, we're gonna take our two outer cords, pink in my case, and send it behind the two cords in the middle and then cross the left over the right to form a loop. I like to pinch it right here where everything crosses so it looks like I have two well-defined loops. I'm gonna take the middle right cord and send it behind so it can go around and through the right loop. Now I do the same on the left side. I take that middle left cord behind and send it around so it can come through the left loop. Then I'm just gonna pull on those outer cords to tighten up the knot, and then I can pull on the center cords as well to smooth everything out. Now once again, I'm gonna take those two outer cords and cross them behind the two in the middle. This time I'm going to utilize the loop right in the center. I'm going to take the right middle cord, send it behind and around and through the middle. I do the same on the left side. The left cord twists around and through the middle of the loop. And I pull it tight. like that so it's going to look like a link in a chain. Now we're going to move down a row to make the alternating pattern. I'm going to leave off these two cords here on the far left and then take the next four cords. I'm going to take my two outer cords so once again those pink cords and I'm going to cross the left over the right to form my loops. I'm just going to slide my middle cords together so it looks like I have two well-defined loops. I'm going to take the right cord behind, twist it around, and pull it through the right loop. Then I'm going to do the same on the left. The left cord twists behind. I send it around and through that left loop. And I pull it tight to secure it. Now I take those same outer cords once again behind to form my loop. This time I'm going to use the loop in the middle. So the right cord comes behind, around, and through the middle loop. Then the left comes behind, around, and through the middle. And I pull it nice and tight. like that. Now I'm going to move on and use the next four cords. So those pink cords, I cross the left over the right to form my loop. I kind of pinch the middle cords together so I see two loops on the right and the left. The right middle cord comes behind, around, and through the right loop. And then that left middle cord comes behind, around, and through the left loop. Pull it tight. Take those same outer cords, once again, cross the left over the right to form your loop. This time I'm gonna kinda separate those middle cords so I see a nice loop right here in the middle. The right middle cord twists behind to go through the middle loop. And I do the same on the left side. Pull it tight.
just like that. And that is what it will look like once you have that row of alternating knots done. So now we can go back and make a row of three. So this time I'm gonna take all four cords all the way on the left side. Those pink cords are once again gonna cross behind the two in the middle to form my loops. I pinch it so I can kind of see two well-defined loops there. The right twist behind to go through the right side and the left twist behind to go through the left side. Pull it tight. Once again, cross those pink cords behind the two in the middle. Separate those middle cords so you see your loop here in the middle. Send the right behind to go through the middle. And then send the left behind to go through the middle. Pull it tight. Then just repeat two more times for a row of three. Just like that. And this is what your fun design will look like once you are complete. So it's a pretty intricate design that has a really, really cool effect. This of course can be used as an alternative to a square knot. So you have a great variety of knots you can use in your macrame wall hangings and other projects. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.